Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back guys to another video and I decided it'd be kind of cool for me to actually give you guys some footage of some CSGO gameplay and discuss about several things in the background. Now I got a lot of support on my video from two days ago, I do apologize for not uploading yesterday, I was absolutely very very tired when I came home from school and I just decided just to go to sleep afterwards and I just took a nap and came back. I tried to download a little bit of Forza Horizon 3 because my internet is very slow, I'm on dial up. And it took me around uh, maybe like 10 hours to download Forza Horizon 3, and I only got up to 10 gigabytes. So I said, forget about it, let me just play some um, competitive. So I did end up buying a new account, which happens to be around, uh, it was brand new, I got it from G2A for $10. And I have a Smurf account, so if you guys want, I'll leave it down below so you guys can add me as a friend. And we can just talk about, you know, you guys can talk to me, we can play. It is unranked, so we'd be able to play some silver games together if you guys want. So that's one of the good benefits of having a brand new account. And it's non prime, so you'll definitely find cheaters. So it's not, you know, it's not the best account, but it's something I don't, you really find cheaters in silver, anyways. Who cheats in silver? You must be that there. Terrible. But, anyways, uh, the video yesterday got so much support. People say it was a brand new mic. I'm actually kind of changing the way I speak. People say I speak too fast. They say I'm very inconsistent. So I can say one thing and then the next moment I'm saying another thing, which is actually true about me. And I try very hard not to do that in these videos now. Um, so I've just been working on it and it's been going okay. And, you know, have not too much things has been going on. Like, you know, school's almost over about a couple more months, maybe like. Around, we have like around 70 more days until I graduate and that's absolutely a long like it's not even like it's been a long run of four fucking years I've been in high school I mean everyone's been gonna be in high school for four years so I don't think I got like left back in high school but I'm saying like four years is a lot like it's a long time especially around what eight years in school from the beginning from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade well I've been in school for around um I well pre-k and kindergarten don't really count so it's like first to s i've been in school for almost 10 years basically in my life 10 fucking years in my well more than 10 years actually i've been in school for maybe around 13 years but let's not get into that point is graduating high school is nothing compared to nothing compared to middle school i mean graduating middle school is nothing compared to high school high school is a huge step into the world the real world if you graduate middle school oh wow boo -hoo -hoo -hoo, you're not gonna see your middle school friends that doesn't matter high school is a completely different experience you're experiencing an adulthood you actually turn 18 some people graduate at 17 but 18 it's just a bigger experience for you you get to actually get a job you get to do so much more things that require so much more responsibility and this is when your parents start to build trust in you. You may have trust in, they may have trust in you when you're younger. That's, I don't know how that worked, but I didn't get trust until I was around 10th and 10th grade. I was able to go out after school and hang out with friends. Before I wasn't able to do that, I had to come straight home from school, do my homework. But as I got older, my mom finally realized that I don't need to be babied around anymore. And she lets me do a lot of free things. Like recently, uh, about a couple, maybe like a week ago, I went to Times Square and that was just absolutely fucking amazing. I've never ever in my life been to Times Square. That was my first time and I live in New York around 30 minutes away to Times Square I've actually been there it was so much fun like I saw the Empire State Building I did take videos but I don't know how to upload them from iPhone because every time I try to bring them into um, the format into uh, Sony Vegas it doesn't let me say I have to install QuickTime and I installed QuickTime and it still just doesn't work out for me so I just like you know what forget about it I'll just if I find a way to upload these videos it rendered them in mp4 i'll definitely upload it to youtube so you guys can see i do have some videos most of them are all of them actually all the videos i took are in 4k i do have the iphone 7 so i'm able to do 4k video that's actually cool i might be able to render in 4k and show you guys the experience i had and i mean having experience like seeing something like that in a picture or a video is nothing compared to seeing it in person i paid 35 dollars for the empire state building ticket and i ended up going to the 82nd floor i didn't pay the extra 10 dollars to go to the uh, 102nd floor but it was just as beautiful as anything and i had so much fucking fun with my friend and you know i never had an experience like that until i asked him because i was just like i want to go to times square today and we ended up taking a train all the grand central i saw grand central all the time I see Grand Central on the news, if you guys watch the Spanish news or novellas or whatever, you'll definitely, uh, like, um, you'll see Grand Central, and I've never thought I'd see it for myself in person, and I actually saw the, um, t the World Trade Center, and I saw, um, Statue of Liberty, and, you know, 
uh, Ellis Island. Oh my, it was just fascinating. Like I was around taking so many pictures and videos. My friend was like, dude, you're like a tourist, but you live in New York City. I'm like, listen, I've never ever been to the city before and going to somewhere that you always see on the news so many, so much is just something that it's like, it just brings a lot of joy into your heart. And it's not something, you know, so I'm very excited to see new places and stuff. So I'm willing to go anywhere just to see like the most, you know, things that are on the news all the time, things that people talk about. Oh, you should go to Belgium, try their waffles, their fries, their chocolate. You know, if I go over there and I try them, I'm like, oh, this is all the hype people have been talking about. But at the end of the day, I did have a lot of fun. I do have some videos and pictures. I, I might be able to show you guys the pictures I took. I can definitely show you guys pictures in them in my next video, but not for today. So, you know, it's just an absolute fucking hell of an experience. You guys, if you guys live in New York City, you should like let me know. Maybe we could take a train together or something. We can work something out. Maybe do a vlog. I can go buy a GoPro. We could do a vlog together in the city. It'll be it'll be cool. Um, but I, it was very insane in the city. Like I've seen offices with M4s. I'm like, this isn't CSGO. This isn't counter. What? I saw um, some guy at the statue. I want to take a picture. So the guy was like, hey. I was like, yeah. He was like, put this on. And he gave me like a, a little hat. And he gave me like the, um, the the torch from the Statue of Liberty and like a flag. And he was like, hold this. I'm like, all right. And he was like, tell your friend to take the picture. My friend took the picture. He was like, he's like, he was telling me like his hands, like, you know how you do money? Like, you know how you have money and do that weird thing with your fingers and stuff? He was telling me, that, he was just telling me that he's like, do this for money. I was like, what? And he was like, do this for money. I was just doing it. I thought it was for a picture. The guy was like, no, 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 no. I do this for money. I was like, excuse what? And I said to him, I don't have any money. He's like, how about your friend? My friend was like, what the fuck? I took the picture. I don't have anything to do with him. And then he was like, I said to him, this guy, guy, listen, excuse me. I, I'm fresh off the boat. I just came into this country. He's like, what? I was like, listen, I'm not even from this area. I don't even know what the, I, I've never been here before. He was like, all right, just take the picture and go because in new york city if you want to take a picture with those iconic people like the statue of liberty or iconic figures they're going to tell you oh they do, they do it for money they don't do it for free so you actually got to pay them like it's around five to ten dollars for a picture a picture are you serious i can basically go behind go in front of him all in front of him take the picture go on um what is that shit called? Photoshop and then zoom it forward and pretend like I'm actually taking a picture with him. You know, I don't have to do the whole process of paying him money just to take a picture. Like, I can take a picture at home for free of myself. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But, you know, it was a very fun experience and I think you guys go try it out. If you guys live in New York or you're actually visiting New York, go to Times Square. It's very fun. You see all, you can see the, um, the W, what is that shit called again? It was like a new, you can see the new, um, tower. You can see, it's just, you know, it's just an experience you guys to actually try. So how the fuck did I get from CSGO to fucking Times Square? It makes no sense. We're doing an Overwatch video, for fuck's sake. And I haven't been paying attention since the beginning of this. So, yeah, this guy is just uh, back to Overwatch, actually. This guy is not cheating. He seems to be legit. I was watching my stream the whole time while I was just talking. You know, you know I just talk for bullshit. I say so much bullshit. And I'm actually starting to run out of ideas to talk about on my channel. Now, on the other hand... My mic has been improved, so you guys can definitely notice a difference in my mic quality. It's way better, and I used to use a Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma, and I have a feeling this mic is going to give in very soon because it has it gave me a lot of trouble to plug in. It, like, I was plugging it in, and it, my windows can would not recognize it, so I had to get plugging in, plugging out, plugging in, plugging out. So the solution I did was just twist the whole mic around until the wire was stiff and you can't move it anymore, and I bend the wire a little bit more down. And it works, but I do think this microphone is just broken in general because you have to like move the wire like it's it takes a USB thing So you have to like move it around just for it to connect um, It's just very weird. So I might end up just getting a, a snowball or just a better or a razor siren or whatever the fuck it's called But um, we're getting very close to the end of this video. It's around a 10 minute video. Maybe less than that Um, hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys did just leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't you know stay tuned for much more gameplay um, I'm gonna try to start uploading every single day So I I am gonna render more than one video today so I can have it scheduled for tomorrow Because I don't think I'm gonna be home tomorrow I might not be home tomorrow I might just I might come home and just go straight to sleep because I'm very tired waking up at 5 30 every day in the morning Just to go to school that's around 10 minutes away from me The thing is I like to take the early bus because the early bus is better because you can be there alone You don't have to worry about standing on like where I go to, when you go to school in the morning and you take the public bus, oh my god, it's just fucking insane. Like, there's, the buses are packed, there's so many students standing, waiting to get a seat. It's just difficult, and I don't want to go through that whole process, so I just wake up at 5.30, take the 6.34 bus, and I'm on my way to school. And I sit in the cafeteria, eat breakfast with friends, and then go to class at 7.45. So, on the other hand, it's just, um... <clears throat> It's just life right there, so pretty much I don't have to do that anymore because I'm going to be going to college, and that's going to be 
a lot more better. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. And like I said, I'll see you guys later. Peace.